Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to do a video today showing how to uh, do in OBS Studio a image sequence of layover. So I'll show you exactly what I mean. Um, now, firstly, I downloaded a bit of uh, stock video footage of Pexels, as you can see. You got a bit of wheat here, or barley, or some kind of a grain in a rotating circle. So what I'm going to do firstly is add this into my OBS as a media source. I'm just going to call this stock. And I'm going to just have this guy looping. So that's my Pexels clip. Now, uh, not enabled by default, so click on loop. Um, and uh, speed's 100%. Do you know what? I'm going to slow it down, actually. I'm going to slow it down to 50%. Um, this is actually quite useful, this little media source player. So we have our Wii spinning in slow-mo here. And I'm going to do fit to screen. Okay, so that's just going to be there. And let's just leave it run. See if hopefully it will loop itself over. And what I'm going to do at the end here is actually record this clip. So you can see uh, what I have achieved with this attempted OBS wizardry. Okay, good. It's looping. So now let me go ahead and create a couple of back layovers. Um, I call these layovers lower thirds. Uh, if they're lower thirds, layouts, overlays. Overlays, that's the word I was looking for. So I'm gonna call this video uh, Overlay image sequences in OBS. So let me just do one now. These are not going to be beautiful. Let's just say a bit of black fill here 74% transparency. This is overlay number one and I'm just going to put that in white font And I'm just going to export this guy to the desktop. Now, I've gone for the same um, uh, resolution intentionally as the canvas, 190, 20, but 1920 by 1080 for 1080p HD. That's important, obviously, to get that right. So I'm going to call these uh, lay, sorry, overlay underscore sequence. And I'm just going to do these in numerical order. So I'm just going to call this one 1. Now let's say I wanted to say, let's pretend this is like a newscast or something like that. I mean, this is intended for a stream. So I'm gonna say, do you have your own crazy story about wheat grains to tell? Call us 1-800-WHEAT. You get the idea. So let's just say this, gonna put this here, take a little bit of uh, space out here and a little bit smaller. Again, the, this is just really a quick and dirty uh, demo. So I'm going to call this guy number two, 2.png. And uh, finally, uh, whoops, just put that, so reset that back to white here. All right, so that's going to be number three. So we're gonna we have now created three layouts on a background. So let let you know. Imagine, pretend for a second these were nicely designed and uh, you put some effort into them. That they're lower thirds, or you could have you know your station logo or your stream logo, etc. So I've created three of these. Now let's go back to OBS. So we have our uh, rotating wheat, and now we want what I want to do is add an image slideshow and call these. Um, I don't know what's wrong with my brain today. It's like having a hard time with this word. Overlays, overlay um, loop, okay? And what I'm going to do, so it's going to be looping. And now I need to tell it where the image files are. So I'm gonna actually add the directory instead of adding. So remember, we put these all in the same directory and we called it overlay sequence. So I'm going to add that directory. So we've got number one, and I'm gonna have this on loop. I'm gonna have the time between slides as four, no, five, 5,000 milliseconds, AKA five seconds. Gonna go for a snappier transitions and we're gonna have a fade transition. So let's just look at how this will look. Now, because I did this on a transparent background, you may notice there's nothing here and, but now it'll become clear when I put it off. So that's how it is. Um, so I've got this guy, I wanted to show you what else you can do once you overlay loop. You could, for instance, change this to a, a slide transition that looks a little bit more dramatic and uh, you'll see now in a few seconds so that's i think that's going to look a bit bad you can have a cut which is just going to cut between one and two and what you can do as well let's go back to fade what you can do is uh, randomize playback 
or you can so let's say call the call the show typically you'd want this in some kind of a sequence uh, but you could also do the image files here and uh, have them coming up in a random one. So let's just take that off. Let's go OK. And now let's record. So just imagine this is like a live stream. So you put in your overlay loop. You put in your webcam stream. And now this is go they're on a transparent background. And they're just going to be running and sliding one in the second. So that's enough. Let's just kind of stop this guy here. And now I'm just going to show you how this turned out. Okay, so here's the uh, clip that we got out of this, recorded to the computer, and the overlays are uh, transitioning as a slide. So that's how, if you want to use, uh, just for the purpose of creating overlays on your OBS stream or your recording, uh, you can add them with a transparent background and actually use them uh, in front of your video feed. Thank you guys for watching. More videos coming soon.